yes fam let's get started and show you watch to the very end so i'm going to start import the project i have some project which i got online i got it from a youtube i can't remember who right now but i think i got in a sony fx it's one 1.5 giga so and i think this is one of it sony fx3 so your color grading all depends on the kind of footage you have actually so this is just one so i'll just bring that in and we'll start with that okay so this is the first project so we'll just take it into the timeline and now we have it there in the timeline as you can see it's not that long it's about one second obviously this is someone's work it was paid to do this so you can't give us a very long file so we have to just work with what we have but that's no problem at all i don't want to waste time so let's get started you come up to these three dots okay you click on that and color oscillate scope you want that shown for a reason i'm going to explain to you right now you see we want this color the upper level to be somewhere around here not more than that and then we also want it to get to this point like i said i myself still learning the craft so i'm just teaching you what i do and how to color grade in different ways i can usually what some other people will do is they come to basic on that video okay adjustment right uh, adjustment move to adjustment remember i'm showing you how to color grade on CapCut pc all right so usually what i see some people do is they crank up the saturation okay like that so that they could see this line clearly if you, if you look at this just take a look at this while i reduce the saturation okay as you can see it's down but if i increase it it increases the line then they come back to curves this is where they now start so yes there's something i need to tell you this upper dot is the white this is the black this dot you can see the here with this cross that's where we have the highlight so we create that and yeah this is the mid tone this middle one is the mid tone and this is the shadow okay so usually you want to have that s curve as you can see because i just did that little curve line i already have a bit of color already in the footage if you were paying attention so now all i need to do is to adjust this remember i told you i just want it to be close to the top for the highlight and close to the bottom for the shadow so i'm just going to move that about like so okay so you can see i don't want to overdo it that should be fine as you can see it's close to the top and we'll do that also for the shadow as you can see just like that so i think i'm i'm fine with it let me see if i could adjust this a bit all right so i think i'm okay with that curve yes i'm okay with that curve so now you can see we have a bit of color now we are done with that we move over to basic on the adjustment don't forget that very important and then remember i cranked up this saturation so now if i decide to take the saturation down watch this now it's going to reduce and it can totally get it out so you have a white and black but i want that saturation there i want that blue sky as you can see it's just showing us a warm look so i'm cranking up the saturation usually you can actually if you want that cinematic look temperature you can lift the temperature so you have that cinematic look as you can see so you have that cinematic look which is perfect just remember whatever you do watch this you don't want it to be overboard you just want it to be close and here we have it like so 
So now I can go on to exposure and reduce and just play with contracts, play with shadows again over here. You know, just work on exposure. I can increase the exposure if I want to. Embed the contracts. You know, you can see you with the contracts, you tend to see things clearly. So I can just do that. Okay. Can just do that. Highlight, I can reduce the highlights if I want or increase if I want but look at how I when I increase the highlight you can see it's overexposed now so I don't want that I don't want that I want it just below like so okay for the shadow same thing if I overdo it it's overexposed so depending on the kind of you want it to be a cool looking then you can leave it that way if you want it to be more of an evening cinematic feel then you can do it just the way i'm doing it you can just whatever feel you want to get then you can as you can see i'm just trying to get it there give it a cinematic look this to me does not really as you can see just giving it a whiter or more yummy look so we have it there Please follow me to the end. We are almost done. You can decide to add vignette sharpening. I usually don't. As you can see, the sharpening, what it's doing is trying to just give you more highlight on the water. So you can just do that a little. Don't overdo it. You see it damages the image. So you can just do that a little. All right particles that particles is more like grain when you hear grain in color grading that's what particles is so it puts particles as you can see look at the image again if i reduce that to zero you'll see no particles but then if i increase it you have particles so it depending on what you're looking for but for me i don't want particles vignettes if you want the focus to be on this boat maybe the action is going on around this boat then taking this to your right to give you that dark vignette but if you take it to your left it gives you the white vignette as you can see the edges are white i don't want the white vignette you can take the dark one as you can see you can make it like that or you can just give it a little vignette it's not all the time you need to use it but if you want to use it to just place focus on a particular thing then you can do that and just leave them the way it is okay sorry about that and now you can then go over to your early edge and just change colors around okay as you can see it has some funny looking curve but then you can put more you can make it more orange like okay you can make it more yellowish if you want it to be then the blue you can make it more as you can see so you can make the blue pop more if you want to just like that Okay, so now we have it. If we go through this image, you can see where we took it from. We took it from this to this, and you can see it looks cinematic now. So that's how you do it. Make sure you like, hit the subscribe button if you've not done that already. And I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to be doing this over and over again with different clips, showing you different way of doing it. And I hope you enjoy it. Different clips have different exposure, so you're going to get different curved line. All you need to do, don't es make it past this line as you've seen here. We pass it a little, but we are okay with, this with the clip, so we'll leave it like that. And then we'll move on to the next one. See you on the very next video. Stay blessed.